So those of you that checked into the uh, video today on YouTube, uh, noticed that I was discussing some of the things. And what I'm pointing out here is really those lights and darks that I wanna focus on. So I'm gonna start drawing those in, in a little bit. One thing that I did is I established a little light value scale. And in the video that I live streamed, I showed that. And what I simply did is I, real quick, I established the blackest blacks and I did the scale like we did in the beginning to the whitest whites. So this on the left hand side means this is the blackest black. So that means you're gonna find the areas that have the darkest dark color and that becomes this value. So it would be in this instance, that blackest black. Then on the right hand side, I have my whitest white and I'm gonna establish that. I'm gonna find out where the highlights are. I'm gonna find out where anything that is bright is going to be. And then the mid-tones are everything else in between. And I wanna have a nice variety. I don't just wanna have three colors, have a variety of colors. So as you can see, there are 10 dif distinct colors uh, that we have here. So here is the drawing of the cup. And what I'm doing here is I'm establishing where the darkest darks are and the lightest lights. And I'm sort of, as I've done before, I'm drawing out where I think the shadows and the lights are gonna be. Now, there was something underneath the paper that I had to get rid of. So as you can see here, I'm drawing this in and you don't have to do it like this. I'm drawing it really, really hard so you can all see it. But in actuality, I would be barely putting these line work in. So now I'm gonna start going through and shading in everything as I see in the uh, still life that I have. And so I'm gonna establish this using the pencil going back and forth like so. And sort of moving across this piece of paper, trying to darken it in areas that I know have the darkest darks and the lightest lights. So in this coffee cup, the darkest dark was inside the coffee cup itself in the mug. So I'm gonna be doing this right here. So I have uh, this black that I'm gonna be establishing right here. And I'm going to continue to work throughout the mug. I'm not gonna fully finish this mug off. This is just so you can see how my process is. And remember, all of you work in different ways. It doesn't matter how I do it. Uh, mine is just one way. You may find a way that works better for you and you happen to like it a little bit more. So on the final part of this video, I'm just gonna speed it up so you can see how I lay everything out and how I do it. Remember, I'm using that sheet of paper to help protect my hand from getting smudges. We don't wanna do that. So I just move across the coffee mug as I see it, and I'm constantly looking up to make sure that it looks successful and as accurate as I can. I'm probably gonna go work back into it a little bit. 